us today is wide receiver Adam Randall. Y'all fire away with questions whenever you're ready. Adam, what was it like to finally get loose and running and kind of run back a little bit there Saturday? Uh, it felt great, you know. Uh, this season for me hasn't gone statistically the way that, you know, projected that I was going to go. But, you know, at the end of the day, just going out there and being able to play for my team or, and doing anything that I can, you know, you know, Saturday felt great. Just being able to catch the ball and run a little bit felt like I was back in high school. But, you know, just be, creating more of those plays, just being more consistent and going out there and playing free is what I'm focusing on. You know, that's what I've been focusing on the last couple of weeks. I've been having a couple of great, great weeks of practices uh, and, you know, just being consistent out there. And I just, I know it's coming. It's just when the opportunities come to me, just make the most of them. Is that what you think has kind of kept you off the field is inconsistency in practice? Uh, you know, just inconsistency in game too, you know, just, you know, it's some opportunities just haven't come my way and some haven't gone my way, you know, when they do come to me and just being able to go out there and, you know, just have the same connection, you know, with Cade and uh, I feel like me and him just been off a little bit sometimes on a couple of throws and, you know, and then we also, it's hard to stay on the field when you got NFL talent you know, all around you in the room because, you know, you have a whole bunch of guys that are hungry to play. And if, you know, you're not producing, you know, you're going to put the guys on the field that want to produce. I think Aaron Riley was saying just wanted you to play fast, just getting to play fast physically. I mean, because you feel like you weren't playing fast. Like, why do you think you weren't quite able to kind of cut it loose going here? Uh, you know, sometimes when you, you, uh, you're you playing, you don't understand how – how fast you could actually go, and you know, it, you know, me not having a spring, it, you know, having to learn the offense in the uh, in fall camp, I felt like I was getting getting into it, and then some days, you know, you just get in your head, and you know, just getting out of your own way is the is the biggest thing for me, and also the biggest thing for our team. I feel like right now, just getting out of our own way, and you know, just going out there, and making the plays that we know that we should make on a routine basis every single day. So. Uh, I know I see we do it in practice every single day and it's just going over to transition it to Saturday and I feel like we've done that it's just a couple of critical mistakes that have held us back this year and I feel like what I said you know just getting out of our own way and continuing to push forward <coughs> is what's going to be the biggest part of this team and for our future. What do you think allowed you to play a little more free and kind of make the play that you made where you feel like three inches away from Uh, you know, it, it's really nothing. Just me going out there and, you know, cutting it loose. I, I got switched to the other side of the ball, uh, got split on the right side instead of the left side. And I, I feel like, you know, wherever I am, just going out there and, you know, letting the, letting the guy know across from me that he can't, he, I can't be stopped. And, you know, that just going out there with that mindset, it's that mindset that you have to have every single day and every single Saturday when you go out there on the field. And, you know, luckily, Cade, that time he looked to the right side and I was open. So, you know, <laughs> sadly, you know, I got tripped up. But, uh, you know, just making those plays consistently is what I'm trying to focus on now and just going out there and being a key contributor to the offense. Uh, Injury-wise, where do you feel like you are? Do you feel like you're really 100% coming off that? Or oh, I feel 100%. I feel, I feel the best that I've felt since uh, I first got here um, in the spring. And, you know, I've been playing fast in practice. And, you know, it's, it's sometimes you don't see that because, you know, you, you, people aren't – practices aren't open and things of that nature. But uh, just going out there and playing free on Saturday, you know, it, it, the lights get brighter on Saturday. But just doing the things that we do consistently on the practice field is what, what we have to continue to do as a team and continue to do as uh, individuals, too, to make this – to make this end of the year run a special. <coughs> Um, you know, you, you know, uh, sophomore year in high school, uh, I was in the same situation, you know, a uh, big recruit, you say, but, you know, I didn't start getting those targets until my junior and senior year. And, you know, injuries, dealt with injuries in high school. And, you know, I, like my dad said, we've been here before and, you know, just being able to be, uh, you know what you're, you know what you're made of, you know, uh, 
I, just going to work every single day is what I'm made of, and you know that's what I'm going to do. And I know eventually I'll come out <laughs> on top. And I know that's that's the foundation of this team and the foundation of this program. You know, we're going to continue to go to work every single day and you know fix these little critical mistakes. And once these critical mistakes start to stop, we'll we'll explode and we'll we'll be the, one of the top offenses in the country. I know that. And, you know, you can see that by our yards and, you know, our stats, but it's just the turnovers are killing us right now. And we just got to continue to just hold the ball, and, you know, get it across that goal line when we when we have the opportunity to. Pat, I know you said you feel as healthy as you have since you've been here, but sometimes guys coming back from long layoffs and injuries, there might be a little bit of tentativeness and mindset or approach as you readjust to the game. Did you feel like maybe there was some of that early in the year? Um. Yeah, I mean, you know, you always get – Coming off of fall camp, you know, you, you're going through it daily, daily, and, you know, just just getting back into that mindset of the season, it, it takes you a while. Well, it took, I would say it kind of took me a while just to get that competitive nature, just to continue to have that competitive nature every single day. And then just having that competitive nature on Saturday, you know, just going out there and attacking and getting after it. And, you know, sometimes – you know, things that may not go, come in your direction, and you may be open. And sometimes things may come in your direction, you may not, be, and you may not be open. So, it's just rhythm and timing and precision. That's why we go out there and practice four or five times out of the week. So, because there's a lot of precision that goes into this game, and if the precision is just a slightly off, <laughs> it's, it's going to look wonky. So, I would say just going out there and practicing and staying consistent is is the biggest priority for me and this offense. Getting there and can maybe really take off in some respects the, the final few weeks of the season. You know, I, you know, taking off I would say is is what we're all going to do. You know, I feel like we we're going to get there, and I, I feel like we got there Saturday. We t we still took a step. We just got to continue to hold the ball and you know not turn it over and you know practice that on this Tanoga Tuesday. You know, just holding the ball and being more. Uh, I would say being more intentional with, you know, the turnovers and, you know, with every aspect, receivers, running back, whoever touches the ball, just high and tight, you know, just having it. And I would say uh, just if we focus on that, the little things and the routine things, I feel like we'll continue to grow. And, you know, I love every single person on this team, and I wouldn't train them any for any, any one of them for the world. So and I know that they're going to come to work and they're going to grind with me every single day. Uh, it wasn't, you wasn't lower body extremities, you know, just a couple of shoulder injuries, you know, high ankle sprains, but, you know, injuries that are nagging and they, they put you out for a little while. So, you know, it's just being able to continue to, um, being able to continue to fight and have that mentality that you're going to get back and you're going to be better than ever when you get back. And, you know, sometimes when you get in that fire, you got to remember that it's the mentality that counts. And it's the, the mental state that you're in that's going to produce for you. Well, I mean, you can't be three inches away and getting tripped up. I mean, what's kind of the feeling coming out of that play? Like, I'm this close to Uh, It's, you know, I, I crossed the safety's face and I felt like I felt like I had a chance to score and I just felt him trip me up. And, you know, it's, it's tough, but, you know, just getting back up and, you know, it was a big play. It was third and ten, so we, we had to have it, and I was just glad to be able to convert for the team, you know, and just hopefully being able to make that next step next time, you know, just getting past them. What do you think the team needs to do over these final five games to turn, it, turn things around and turn it into a positive? Uh, I just think we got to keep showing up consistently every single day. and sticking to it and doing the things that we continue to do and then just you know like I said just work on our turnovers and you know just trying to get trying to win the margin every single game if we can win the margin in every single these last five games we'll go five and zero. Oh, I promise y'all that so any questions for Adam virtually anybody else in the room you gotta ask what's it like having an older brother on the team now oh uh, uh, you know, uh, it's just great to have him here, and you know, he's uh, he might not be one of the guys that you actually know, you know, but 
he's one of those scout team guys that I go against every single day. We're always laughing and joking. And uh, he actually said something to me the other day. And uh, Coach Winnie kind of looked back at him, and he just started laughing because, you know, he knows he knows the brotherly brotherly competitiveness that we have, and you know just getting after there every single day. And I'm glad that I get to walk in there and see him in the locker room, and you know it's it it be one of his last years playing football, and I'm just glad that we got to do it all together. You know, even though it's not going the way that we thought it would go. Would you say it's more of like a trash talking relationship all the time? Yeah. Oh, I mean. You know, we, we, we get after each other, but we, we love each other at the same time. You know, we've been built and our family raised to, to stick together. So uh, we will never turn our backs on each other. And it, no matter what happens on out, out there on that field, we're going to come in that locker room and hug it out. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And I appreciate Coach Winnie letting him have the opportunity to come finish his career out here because I know this is a special place. And uh, I'm just glad, glad and excited to have him here, especially when I see him. Oh, my brother pushes me all the time. You know, he's probably one of uh, one of my biggest pushers in my life. You know, just wanting me to be the best person that I can be. And I'm glad that I actually have that here in person because, you know, last year when I was going through, like, the injuries and things like that, he would call me. But now he could just ride over to my house. And, you know, he knows what I need and he knows when to push and pull. And um, I appreciate him just being the bigger brother that he is because I wouldn't ask for anybody else. And I, God put him on this planet to to help me out, and he's that's what he's done. He's been a he's been a bigger brother, and he's you know set that example for me. And he's gonna continue to set that example. Whatever he does in life, I know he's gonna be successful because, like I said, he's made it the right things, just like this program and just like me. We're made it the right things, and I know that we're gonna get through this <coughs> quote unquote storm that we're in. But you know. You just continue to grow out there and fight and be consistent and stand on the foundation that the program was built on. Is there anything in particular he would say to you in practice? Uh, you know, not like not like in particular, but you know, just pushing me. You know, just like come on, Adam. You know, be the guy that you are. Just, you know, you remember when we were we we play basketball outside, and he would just remind me of those times that how we were grinding, and just trying to get to this place, and. Um, just appreciate the moment that we are in. Anybody else for Adam?